Discovery Disputes 300 Years Old Wave Theory of Light I am Professor Prasad Rao Bayarapu from Jawaharlal Nehru Technological University Hyderabad India Yes it is correct wave theory of light is being disputed having found several flaws in the wave theory of light i have presumed that there must be a different interpretation for the interference and diffraction phenomena we may recall that wave theory of light was postulated to explain these two phenomena so i have verified the original experiments of interference and diffraction afresh in bayarpu physics laboratories indeed my experiments have revealed altogether a new interpretation to the so called interference and diffraction phenomena interference is studied in newton's rings experiment fresnel's biprism experiment michelson's interferometer experiment oil slicks and soap films my extensive experiments with newton's rings setup have revealed that a transparent fluid layer of about half a millimeter thickness and formed by ambient gases that covers all solid and liquid surfaces at room temperature is responsible for the interference and diffraction pattern this fluid layer which is a state between liquid and gas has density ripples pervading it in the form of compressions and rarefactions like gas and also crests and troughs like liquid newton's rings experiment my experiments have revealed that the fluid layers of the curved portion of the lens and the plane surface of the plane glass form a plano convex complex fluid in this complex fluid circular density ripples comprising of compressions and rarefactions that taper off from the center are set in when illuminated with sodium vapor lamp the compressions appear dark and the rarefied portions look bright due to differential density of compressions and rarefactions in the complex fluid colored bands are formed owing to refraction of light when mercury vapor lamp is used to illuminate the pattern and after 5 or 6 bands bright with the green tinge and dark fringes are seen any fluid is affected by both pressure and thermal causes the presence of fluid layer on plano convex lens and glass plate is confirmed by pressure and thermal experiments pressure experiment when pressure is applied on the lens by pressing with fingers or by tightening the screws of the frame in which lens and glass plate setup is fitted the fluid gets displaced leaving a void at the point of contact of the lens and the glass plate further the density of the complex fluid in the surrounding portion increases giving rise to broader fringes the first dark fringe in the original newton's rings pattern is pushed to fifth or sixth fringe position depending on the pressure applied if less pressure is applied traces of fluid are seen at the point of 
contact of lens and glass plate and first a few fringes appear jagged due to small projections on the surface of the glass plate. Bending of Newton's rings when pressure is applied in the Newton's rings experiment by inserting a thin glass file, cover glass or cover slip of 0.1 millimeter thickness between the lens and the glass plate are shown below. Distortion of Newton's rings pattern when lens is pressed against glass plate and illuminated by sodium vapor lamp is shown. Distortion of Newton's rings pattern when lens is pressed against glass plate and illuminated by mercury vapor lamp is shown. Distortion of Newton's rings pattern when lens is pressed against acrylic sheet and illuminated by sodium vapor lamp is shown. Distortion of Newton's rings pattern when lens is pressed against acrylic sheet and illuminated by mercury vapor lamp is shown. Stripping the fluid layer of a thin glass plate of 0.1 mm thickness called cover glass or cover slip when pressed between the lens and glass plate in the Newton's rings setup is shown below and the manner in which the fringes get modified uh, with changing density of the fluid due to pressure. Thermal experiment. When Newton's rings setup is subjected to heat uh, with a candle, the fringes rush towards the center and vice versa when heat is withdrawn. This phenomena is more pronounced if acrylic sheet is used instead of a glass plate. Sometimes the projections on the glass plate hinder the movement of uh, the fringes. In such cases, if the lens is lifted slightly, say 0.2 or 0.3 millimeter by using glass cover slips, the movement of fringes can be seen without any hindrance. I have found the surface of acrylic sheet is so smooth that no hindrance of fringes was witnessed in the thermal experiment. On account of heat, the central portion of the plano convex complex fluid becomes rarer since the fringes in the complex fluid are function of the density. They keep changing their position as for the density changes and hence they appear to be rushing towards the center. When the heat is withdrawn, the density in the complex fluid reverts to the original state. Thereby, the fringes appear to rush away from the center. Fluid layer on the liquids. I have made a donut shaped film with groundnut oil on the glass plate and placed the lens just above the oil film without touching it, say about 0.25 millimeter above. I have observed two types of patterns. One is Newton's rings pattern between 
the glass plate and lens. Another is distorted Newton's rings pattern between the oil film and lens. That means there is fluid film uh, even on the oil film which is in combination with the fluid film of lens has given rise to distinct pattern, surface pattern. Portion of the fluid layer close to the surface gets pressed against the surface and forms a distinct pattern called surface pattern due to strong potential of the surface. The surface pattern or thin glass plates of 0.1 millimeter thickness called cover slip is shown below. The surface pattern on a polythene sheet is shown below. Surface pattern on a glass file is shown. Change of surface pattern on a water drop as water evaporates is shown. Above the surface pattern, there is still residual fluid layer which forms plano convex uh, uh, complex fluid when a plano convex lens is placed on the cover slip. Pattern over surface pattern when lens is placed over glass file. Fresnel's biprism experiment. The alternative bright and dark fringes in this experiment are due to the surface pattern on the middle budge portion of the biprism where two prisms meet. When two biprisms are placed at a slant one behind the other and illuminated with sodium light through a slit or a pinhole, the following is the pattern. The following is the pattern when two biprisms are placed one behind another in a crisscross position. That means the light from the slit is merely illuminating the linear surface pattern. Michelson's interferometer experiment. Through experimentation, I have found that each of the two circular silver mirrors in the setup has got a circular surface pattern. The coincidence of these two surface patterns give rise to vivid circular fringe pattern when both the mirrors are in proper alignment with each other. This circular surface pattern on a circular plain glass plate is given below. Oil slicks. When a drop of oil is placed on water surface, it spreads into oil slick on water. Experts have revealed that the pattern is nothing but surface pattern on the oil slick. The pattern depends on the thickness, shape and nature of the surface of the slick. Different oil slick patterns are given below. Some are Newton's rings like circular pattern, some are distorted circular fringe pattern and other assorted pattern.
change of surface patterns on oil slicks and water surface as evaporation takes place are shown. Soap film. Experiments have revealed that a soap film is a composite film comprising two oil films sandwiching a water film. The pattern is nothing but surface pattern on the oil film. The pattern keeps changing in tune with the change in the thickness of the oil film due to evaporation. As water evaporates in the water film that is sandwiched between the two oil layers, the water vapor comes out by making perforations on the oil films. These perforations spread as time goes by. At some stage, the perforated oil films become unstable and collapse. Change of surface pattern and the spread of perforations are shown below. Perforation formation on soap film is shown. Change of surface patterns on soap film are shown. double slit experiment. In the double slit experiment, the density ripples owing to the combination of the fluid layers of two edges of each slit give rise to a pattern construed as an interference pattern. Diffraction. Experiments have revealed that the diffraction pattern is nothing but density ripples in the form of compressions and rarefactions in the fluid layer that taper off from the surface of glass, acrylic sheet, etc. Apart from compressions and rarefactions which denote the disturbance in a gas, the pattern also displays crests and troughs denoting the liquid aspect of the fluid. The compressions and rarefactions in the fluid layer bring about differential density of the fluid layer giving rise to prism effect whereby light gets refracted on either side of the compression. This leads to illumination in the geometric shadow of the edge of an object. Dharmal experiment. In this diffraction experiment, the light from the slit is made to fall on the acrylic sheet at an acute angle so that the reflected light is refracted through the fluid layer and is made to illuminate the first two fringes close to the surface of acrylic. When heat is applied to the sheet at the back, the heat is transferred to the fluid layer whereby the fluid portion that is nearer to the surface becomes rarer. The fringe pattern gets disturbed and disappears as the fringes try to reposition in tune with the changing density. In the process, the light becomes less refracted and moves away from the surface of the sheet. When the heat is withdrawn, the fluid layer gradually reverts to its original density 
and the fringes are formed accordingly the light from the slit also moves back to cover the first two fringes passing through the fringes under formation This experiment has demonstrated that the fringes in the fluid layer are nothing but density ripples which are function of the density of the fluid and it is uh, amenable to changes in temperature. Thus the so called interference and diffraction phenomena are explained without use of wave theory of light. In fact, particle theory of light is adequate to explain these two patterns. These patterns are explained by the reflection, refraction and dispersion of photons in the density ripples of the fluid layer or in the fluid layers when two surfaces are brought together. Conclusion From the above experiments, it is evident that particle nature of light is adequate to explain the phenomena of interference and diffraction. We can dispense with the wave theory of light altogether. Hence, light can be denoted by photons with each photon having different mass and velocity. If we use particle nature instead of wave theory of light to explain the redshift of spectral lines of celestial bodies. The redshift is interpreted as occurring due to slowing down of photons ejected by the celestial bodies as they travel phenomenal distances in the intergalactic medium of the universe. That means the universe is not expanding and the Big Bang theory requires modification. This new model of the universe, which is unimaginably vast, will certainly unravel the mysteries of dark matter, dark energy, cosmic rays, subatomic particles, etc. Publication My work was published in the International Journal of Applied Physics and Mathematics in January 2013 edition under the caption Interference and Diffraction, a New Theory. I made presentation of this work in the International Conference on Physics, Science and Technology held in Hong Kong during December 29th and 30th, 2012 website. My experimental work has been incorporated in uh, the website www.natureoflight-particleonly.com. My email address is prasadbayar at yahoo.co.in. Thank you.